Hey everyone, this is your boy DJ Cool Thing. Welcome to a Christmas video here on the DJ Cool Thing YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to build a beginner DJ setup. And this will give you some gift ideas for DJs in your life for Christmas 2019. Or if you are a DJ, then this will help you find gifts for yourself. And maybe even some upgrades to help you out in 2020. So this is for all types of DJs. Beginner, intermediate, and also advanced. So um, this is to help the, uh, the beginner DJs mostly. But if you want to watch this and you're an intermediate DJ, which is, you know, between beginner and pro. Or if you're a pro DJ and you need some gift ideas, this will uh, help you find the right gift ideas based on what I saw on Amazon. So Amazon has some really awesome gift ideas. All you have to do is Google gift ideas for DJs Christmas 2019, and that'll give you some really awesome gift ideas for you or for a DJ in your life for Christmas 2019 to help them out as a DJ in 2020. Because the more DJs we have, the better. Because it might be a growing business if we add more DJs. So anyone who is thinking about becoming a DJ, this will help them get started in building a DJ setup. First thing you need is definitely a table. A table. This here is a Lifetime 4428 um, height adjustable utility table and can be used as a DJ table or a lot of DJs actually use Lifetime since they are very, very durable. They're going to be knocked around in vehicles during transport and all that kind of stuff. And this is a perfect candidate as a table. And there's also a lot of other DJ tables out there, but these are actually the most durable. I mean, you can't really see any scuffs or anything on it after being, uh, I guess, moved around in transport inside the car going from gig to gig. And it just works just fine. And... Um, it's height adjustable, so you can adjust the height appropriately to your height. And they have like four different settings. So, yeah, they have like four, three different settings on the legs to bring it up higher if you want to bring it higher. So that is uh, the first thing you need is a table. The second thing you need is a laptop. For me, I have the MacBook Air. 2018 I'm putting you guys down here so that way we can I guess pack up the computer this here is a MacBook Air 2018 it's got a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM uh, um, Intel UHD graphics 617 running at 1536 megabytes so this is actually a step up from the Intel HD graphics. This is um, Intel UHD graphics, 617, running at 1536 megabytes. It's the same thing as my old computer, which is a MacBook Pro, mid-2012, 13-inch. And that computer has seen much better day. So I'm now using the MacBook Air, and it's, it's run flawlessly. And I used it at a Christmas party, and it lasted nonstop which is insane for something small like this. I guess because I'm running my music off the external hard drive, it's not putting as much strain on the SSD. Yeah, it's putting a lot less strain on the SSD. And it also um, allows me to bring up the uh, capacity of my computer and just use my external hard drive. And that's another thing you need to get. After you get your computer, make sure you have one of these, an external hard drive or an external SSD. That's, you know, that's at least one terabyte, because one terabyte can hold thousands and thousands of songs on, that, on one hard drive. You can pretty much put all your music on a Toshiba or on an um, external hard drive or an external SSD. You can pretty much put a lot of things on this uh, one drive plug it in and it'll put a lot less strain on your hard drive or SSD. 
the one that's internal, the one that came with your computer, and just use that for like downloads and applications and stuff like that that you would need on the hard drive itself. So it gives you a lot of room to work with when you use an external hard drive compared to using um, the internal drive. So that's um, one, that's the third thing you'll need to get. After you get the table, then you get the laptop and then purchase an external hard drive. This will give you a lot more capacity as well as put a lot less strain on the, the internal drive. Whether it's an SSD or a SATA disk drive or any other type of drive that, that comes with these computers, mostly SSDs. And some of these SSDs aren't that big. Like this one's 121 gigabytes. That is poor when it comes to being a DJ laptop. So I gotta use an external hard drive. So these headphones will actually put in here, just in case we wanna monitor if we wanna. Okay, so we definitely have to monitor. I'll have to learn how to uh, do that. Monitor my music through headphones. Since I, don't, since I don't have a booth speaker, so I gotta use headphones. There we go. And the next thing you'll need to get is a controller. There's a lot of controllers out there from Pioneer, Denon, Newmark, Hercules. You name it, it's all there. So I have the Pioneer DDJ SR2. And the one I started out with was a Newmark Party Mix. That thing was so small, but it was enough to get me started as a DJ in 2018. As I purchased it on June 24th, 2018, and it was, it's lasted me a good while until I gave it to my cousin who um, wanted to become a DJ. He wanted it. Yeah, he wanted the controller. And he was so intrigued with my Pioneer DJ SR2 and how I actually did it. So... I gave it to him and he's gonna practice being a DJ. So I gave him my old Newmark party mix that I've had since uh, June 24th, 2018. And since I upgraded it, I didn't need it. It all, it, it just sat in storage. So that is a good beginner controller because it's got two channels. It's got Q, loop, samplers and effects. And it's got jog wheels. It has um, the master level um, and all kinds of different volumes. So it's a really good basic function controller with bass, travel, gain, all those type of, con you know, it's got a master gain and a headphone. Yeah, it's got a master output and a you know, headphone output. So it's got a lot of, uh, oh, and, and of course there was a, a I think the third, there was master, headphone, and on the the third one was switching between program and cue. That's um, where you would select the headphones, whether you want to cue up in the next track or preview what's, you know, what's coming through your speakers. That was an awesome thing. And of course, it had, it had an RCA output so if you get one of those and you want to, you know, gig with it, then you have to use use one of those uh, external mixers and just plug in the RCAs and then plug in the XLRs to the speakers and you'll be good to go. That's an extra step. Yeah, that's another thing you would have to get. See, with my Pioneer DJ SR2, yeah, with the SR2, It has XLR and RCA. It also has line inputs on both channel one and channel two. And of course, um, after that, it has USB, obviously. And it's got a USB connection to connect it to the laptop. And it's got the DC input for the 
power supply to use the external mixer or the internal mixer. Yeah, that's what the plug is for, the internal mixer. It helps power the, the internal mixer instead of just running it as a DJ controller. It can also be used as a, a mixer as well for like external devices like your phone or a tablet for um, background music, for, uh, yeah, for background music. If the DJ has to step away from the DJ booth, because a DJ has to eat, and they do serve food at parties, and the DJ has to eat. So they gotta step away from the DJ booth and then just leave some music playing. So, the um, a DJ controller with uh, an external mix or internal mixer is amazing. It's a godsend for us DJs who need to save space, but still wanna connect extra, you know, internal devices and don't have to worry about buying an external mixer. And the next thing is a facade. It can go around the table or on the table. I have one of these. All right, let's continue this video. I accidentally dropped my phone. <laughs> this case I have on my phone is slippery. So this is what I have right here. This is a Dragon Front Boards facade. It's a four foot facade for a four foot table. So it kind of covers the entire table, the entire coverage of the table. And you can also get one of those facades that go around the table um, instead of on the table. So you can put a lot more stuff on it. Like you can put the, a flight case on it. You can do all kinds of stuff on it. Like you put your DMX controller, a small DMX controller and a light and anything else you need on that table. You can put extra stuff on there because of the different room that you have. You can also use one of those um, facades. So that's what that is, is a smaller tabletop facade. You can also get a much you know bigger facade that goes around the entire table. I mean, those are awesome. Um, so, I mean, what I saw on Amazon, yeah, what I saw on Amazon, there were tons and tons of different variations of headphone stands. Here we are, we're turn on the MacBook Pro here, since we already packed it the MacBook Air. And of course, in that other bag, the Joy Prom bag, over there is my cables for the SR2. And of course, um, we have our table, we have our controller, the facade, the joy pump bag with our cables in it, a uh, laptop stand, that's another thing. You can actually substitute a generic laptop stand for, for a cooling pad like what DJ Bright Eyes has. He has one of those cooling fans that kind of doubles as a laptop stand where you can um, bring it at a, at a curve. You can bring it up like so. So you can be able to see the computer. You can actually stand it up properly. You can prop it up in however angle you want and it still keeps your computer cool which that is absolutely amazing, especially for my MacBook Air, where that thing is always getting hot. And it's gonna, it's gonna overheat one day, so. I think I would highly recommend getting that instead of a generic uh, laptop stand, because when you get a regular old laptop stand that you would use on a desk inside a house, you know, a home office, then it's going to get overheated and it's going to over, yeah, it's going to malfunction, and we don't want that, especially in a DJ gig during the spring, the summer, and the fall months. Because I live here in South Carolina, it gets very, very hot and very humid this time, you know, that time of year during the spring, the summer, and the fall. It doesn't start getting cooler until late fall, early winter. But I can still keep the, um, computer cool with that cooling pad, I could pretty much use it any time of year, whether it's indoor or outdoor, because my computer, is it, it still gets hot. 
And of course, um, another thing you might, so the controllers for beginner DJs, the ones I know for sure, is the uh, Pioneer DDJ SB3, the DDJ 200, the DDJ 400. That's all I know for sure from Pioneer. And then um, there's also Newmark, which Newmark has the Party Mix and the DJ To Go 2. By, yeah, the DJ To Go 2. And the medium size ones is uh, the Newmark Mix Track Pro 3, the Newmark Mix Track 3, the Platinum, the, you know, the Mix Track Platinum. And of course, there's some. Like the NV2, that kind of stuff is for professionals who want to use Newmark. So, and from Hercules, um, some of the top controllers from Hercules is the Impulse 200 and the Impulse 300. There's also the Jog Vision. There's the, um, I guess, Starlight. I can't remember, but we're going to go through the entire inventory of Hercules controllers because I can't remember most of them. But the two top ones is the Impulse 200 and the Impulse 300. And they all come with DJU software, which I think can be used with um, Virtual DJ. You can actually substitute Virtual DJ or DJ Pro 2 or on some controllers, Serato, in, you, know, um, you know, instead of... D-Juiced, because D-Juiced may not be the most popular, and you can also um, substitute it for another uh, DJ program that is more, yeah, that is a lot more, yeah, that, that could be a lot more, you know, more popular, like Virtual DJ or DJ Pro 2 or Serato on some, in some cases. And when it comes to record box and tractor, tractor is only exclusive to native instruments and record box is only exclusive to Pioneer, which my Pioneer controller is a Serato controller. So the top three ones is DJ Pro 2, Virtual DJ and Serato. That ha those have the most compatibility amongst, amongst a lot of uh, DJs and a lot of controller manufacturers. Here we go, Hercules DJ controller. Hercules DJ. Yeah, there are two ones is um, the Impulse 300 and the Impulse 200. And for other Hercules products, we're gonna to go to controllers. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of sets. There's a party set, a learning kit, a starter kit. There's three different types of, of kits. There's the party set, the learning kit, and the starter kit. The starter kit comes with the um, Starlight yeah, it comes with the Starlight or the Compact. And it comes with headphones and some studio monitors. The learning kit comes with the one of the um, bigger controllers. Like the one of the Impulse controllers along with headphones and studio monitors. All from Hercules. The party set comes with the um, Serato controller. The, you know, their Serato controller with wristbands and also some um, headphones. And their controllers to use by themselves is the DJ Control Starlight, the DJ Control Impulse 300, the Impulse 200, the Jog Vision, the Universal DJ, the P32 DJ, oh yeah, that's a, a pad, um, the DJ Control Instinct P8, the Instinct S series, the DJ Control Glow series, 
the Air S Party Pack, and uh, the DJ Control Instinct Party Pack, and the DJ Control Compact. So there's a lot of different controllers for beginner DJs out there. And for Newmark, yeah, for Newmark, um, we'll take a look at Newmark on, yeah, we'll take a look at Newmark. See what they have on Amazon. Here we go, Amazon.com. Oh, I almost dropped it again. <laughs> Man, this case is slippery. So, the next is, uh, we'll just type in Newmark on the Amazon.com. Tap on their Amazon page. Controllers, beginners. Their beginner controllers is the Newmark DJ to go to for Serato DJ Lite and also the Newmark Party Mix with Serato, with Serato DJ Lite. Both of them come with Serato DJ Lite. They're intermediate controllers. This is the one I was trying to think of. The Newmark Mix Track Pro 3, the Newmark Mix Track Platinum. So it's the Pro 3 and the Platinum. The Platinum is basically like every other controller that's out there with a display on the jaw wheels. And it comes with Serato DJ Lite, and they all come with Serato DJ Lite. I mean, that's weird. I mean, I guess all Serato DJ Lite controllers are compatible with Serato DJ Pro. It's got a paid upgrade. And also their um, experienced controllers for experienced DJs is the Newmark NV2 and also the NSX2. So the NSX2 and the NV2, those are for more professional slash experienced DJs. And we'll go to Pioneer, Pioneer DJ. Here we go, Pioneer DJ. There's the SB3, the Pioneer DJ SB3. And it comes with a bundle. You can use, you can get a bundle with some headphones. Yeah, some headphones, a laptop stand, and a cleaning cloth. And there's one right here, which is um, $1,392, or it's a little over $1,300, with some. Um, um, 6,100 watt speakers. Oh, some dual 15 inch Atkins per, let's see here. Um, this particular one has the controller, the Pioneer DDJ SB3, Serato DJ Lite software, dual 15 inch Atkins Pro DJ speakers, and the APA 6100 amp and mic. So it comes with an amplifier and the microphone along with some really big speakers from Dual. The Dual 15 inch Atkins Professional um, speakers. That one is definitely worth gigging with. And of course, yeah, their standalone controller is the Pioneer DJ SV3 on the list. The DDJ 400, the DDJ 200, and a Pro package, a Pioneer Pro DJ DJ package, the PKS TP03, a $500 set. I guess it's for the bedroom DJ in your life who is not ready for their first gigs yet, but can still DJ in their bedroom as a hobby and then turn into a career. When they are ready, it comes with studio monitors, it comes with the software, the controller, and the headphones, which it comes with Rekordbox software. A Pioneer DJ SR2. And it shows I purchased this on July 24th, 2019. Wow, it took me a little over a year to, you know, to get a new controller. 
and I love it. I love the Pioneer DJ SR2. This is a good controller for the intermediate DJ in your life who is just getting out of that beginner stage. Some like me who's just getting out of that uh, beginner stage and going up to the professional stages. The Pioneer, it can be used for anyone. Yeah, this controller can be used by anyone. It can be used by a beginner DJ. It can be used by an intermediate DJ or an experienced DJ. It can be used by anyone. I mean, my friend um, DJ Heck, yeah, he actually has the original SR, which looks absolutely amazing. It looks identical to my controller, the SR2. And for standalone controllers, there's the XDJ RX2 and the XDJ RR. The RR is basically like the SR2, where it doesn't have any kind of display, but just the standalone jog wheels. It's basically identical to the um, XDJ RX2. And this is the um, XDJ RR, which is basically the uh, SV3 or the SR2 of the standalone controller market when it comes to Pioneer. It's a good thing I didn't get an XDJ RR because that thing was $1,000. It's insane. So I got the SR2. And there's a lot of things why I got it because the multicolor. Um, touch pads there and the lights to tell to tell me what deck I'm on so I don't go wrong because I've seen myself go to the you know go to the wrong deck when it was playing on the opposite deck well guys I'm back I had to uh, make some coffee and go get a gingerbread cookie so um, let's talk about the controllers from Pioneer DJ to help you out as a DJ in 2020 for those beginner DJs, um, upgrades for intermediate DJs if they're going from a beginner level controller to a much more, more advanced controller that they can keep into their experienced level. And we were talking about the Pioneer DJ SR2 and we were talking about the XDJ RX2 and the XDJ RR. And for those very professional DJs, there's a Pioneer DJ Professional Multiplayer, the CDJ 2000 Nexus S2. Yeah, Nexus 2. Yeah, yeah. These are basically CDJs. So CDJs and XDJ series. But, you know, the ones with the CD player and the ones without, which are like digital media players. So yeah, the um, there's only four left in stock. I didn't know these were so popular. The Pioneer DJ Professional Multiplayer Black um, CDJ 2000 NXS2. Then there's a um, a pad, a performance pad to help you out with sampler, yeah, you know, with your sampler and your effects and all that kind of stuff that you would need on it. Oh, and cues and slicers and all that kind of stuff you would need. The Pioneer DJ, DJ um, controller, DJ XP2. You can add that with your DJ controller for the music. And then there's also the Pioneer DDJ 800. Yeah, um, it's a good thing I, I got the SR2 because it was a che more cheaper option. The uh, DDJ 800 would have been a great option, but it's almost $800. I would have to work extra hard with my mom in order to get the uh, 800. So I got the SR2, about $700, which isn't too bad. You know, not a bad controller. It's like $24 cheaper or $25 cheaper than what the 800 was. But if you guys wanna go for the, the 800, by all means, go for the 800. Oh yeah, the silver DDJ 400, which looks really, really cool. 
Man, that looks cool. I mean, every DJ controller does the exact same thing. It plays the music. They all have different, you know, different effects. Basically for the 800 and the SR2. Because they're both two-channel controllers from Pioneer. And the DDJ, yeah, the DDJ 800 is like the smaller version of the DDJ 1000. And the 1000 SR, well, it's, yeah, it's the, uh, baby, it's the, uh, it's the identical twin to the DDJ-1000, where it's got the LCD screen that's inside there to give you some of the information and all that kind of stuff. I might get that in the, in the near future. Uh, the DDJ-400 two-channel controller for Rekordbox DJ in silver. Then there's the 1000 SRT for the Serato users out there. Um, yeah, it's the DDJ-1000 SRT for the feel of the 1000, but with Serato compatibility. Then there's the um, XDJ700. That's what it is, the, the uh, XDJ700. So it's the XDJ series instead of the CDJ series. These are like more smaller cousins of the CDJs. It's like a CDJ, but a much more smaller version of it. Then there's a Pioneer uh, direct drive turntable for, the, for those turntablists, a PLX1000. Um, the DM40, yeah, the DM40s, JBL Studio Monitors, 308 Mark IIs. Oh, wow. Professional DJ system with the DDJ SB3, DJ Lite software, and Calm Array system, 2400. Yeah, uh, 2400 watts, 15 inch subwoofer. Those are cool. That's enough to get you started as a professional DJ right away. And it's only, wow, it's over $1,000. It's $1,387 for that one system. I guess because you're getting the uh, speakers with it. The controller by itself is okay. See, it's always good to buy the controller by itself. That way you can customize your setup. The, you know, the way it looks, the way it acts, that sort of thing. The XDJ, yeah, the S, yeah, the SX3 from Pioneer is another choice. The Pioneer DDJ SX3. And then there's the DDJ 1000. The XZ. The XDJ XZ. And there's a lot of different combos. Oh, in the Wego 4, that's another one. The DDJ RZX, the DDJ SR. It's the same price as the original SR2, $699. Okay. Oh, and can't forget about Roland. The Roland 202. Then there's the uh, DDJ RR, the SX2, and a lot of different combinations you can create. Yeah, there's like pages upon pages of them. Those are just some. I those are some ideas. And there's also Denon, like the MC4000. That's a good starter controller if you want to get into the Denon ecosystem. And it comes with Serato, the MC4000. I would act, let's see how much the MC4000 is on Amazon. So instead of Pioneer DJ, oh, here we go. Let's see if there's more to choose from. Let's see what's on here. But if you want to go to you know, Pioneer DJ, just go to the Pioneer DJ website because Amazon is going to have like loads and loads of different combinations like speakers and different packages and stuff like that. It'll take you forever to look through all of them. But for, for DJ controllers here on the Pioneer website, if you're going to go towards that route, you know, going through the Pioneer website, I guess to choose your controller and then go to Amazon and then purchase it that way. 
that makes it easier to search the Pioneer website to see what their inventory is and then buy it on Amazon. So, I mean, that's what I did. I looked on the Pioneer website before buying the SR2 and I was looking at some different, you know, different um, controllers that had two channels instead of four channels because four channels for me is a lot more advanced than what I'm planning on going for. I mean, it does have four deck support, but with a two channel controller. And of course, um, there's the DDJ-1000 SRT, the DDJ-1000, the DDJ-800, the 400, the 200, the RZX and the RZ, the XP-1, the SZ-2, couple of bundles, the DJ sx 3 the SR-2, the SP-3, the SP-1, and the WeGo-4. And there's a lot of standalone controllers if you wanted to. DJ players, like a lot of XDJ series, like the 700, the 1000 Mark II, the CDJ's 900 NXS, the, N the NXS2, the CDJ 2000s, and the Tor 1. Um, next is all in one DJ systems. The XDJ XZ, the XDJ RX2, and the XDJ RR. The one I would go for is the XDJ RR. Bedroom to main room. Okay. And it has record box DJ on it. And it's got like one, two, three, four Q pads. Yeah, it's got four Q pads instead of the normal that what I what I'm used to. So if I wanted a standalone controller, the best one for me is the XDJ RX2. Wow, almost seventeen hundred dollars. That's insane. But that's in the future when I work up. But for me, I gotta work with 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 uh, what's in my budget at the time of upgrading. This one's perfect for me. The XDJ RR over almost a thousand dollars. So if I work really hard and get paid as a DJ, I can then upgrade to a much better system. But I think I'm going to wait until I get paid a lot more than what I'm getting paid now to DJ. And I'm going to start um, saving it up for much better gear. So yeah, I'm working really hard to getting a lot more upgrades, especially to lighting and my DJ setup and eliminating the need for a computer because my computers, computers aren't really that reliable when it comes to DJing. Whether it's a Mac or a PC, they both aren't really good for DJing. All I want DJ systems are perfect. And of course we have Denon DJ So we're going to go to Denon DJ. Yeah, here we go. Denon DJ. Their standalone system is the Prime 4. The Denon Prime 4. Here we go. Denon DJ. Professional DJ equipment. Products. Their DJ controllers is the MC4000, the MC7000, the MCX8000. This is the one I would definitely get, the MC4000. We're going to we're going to explore. Man, that looks awesome. And it's made for Serato. Sweet. I would definitely get that if I was into Den and DJ. It comes with Serato DJ. Okay, um plays well with others. Serato DJ Lite, Tractor, DJ Pro, and Virtual DJ. <laughs> I would definitely go towards uh, Virtual DJ again if I went towards the MC4000. The Denon MC4000, but I have the SR2, so I'm going to stick with Serato. 
Sound Masters, plugging together. There's different sections here to learn more about the MC4000 premium two channel DJ controller. I would actually get that if I was a Denon fan, but I'm a Pioneer fan. So I chose one that was Serato compatible, two channels, XLR, because I know it's gonna connect it to a PA system at some point and the perfect one for me was the SR2. So I guess that makes the SR2 my dream controller because I've always wanted a Serato controller that had XLR outputs, two channels, and a lot of different effects like the low and high pass filters because I don't really need all those special effects that I don't even need. So, um, the SR2 is perfect for me for right now. And it's my dream controller. And I'm actually going to keep be keeping it for many more years to come. It's that awesome of a uh, controller. And of course, we talked about Hercules. We talked about Newmark. We talked about Pioneer. We talked about Denon. And there's also Roland. Roland DJ. Oh, here we go. The Roland.com and under products. Whoa, an 808. The DJ 808. That looks awesome. So the Roland products, there's the DJ808, the 707M, the 505, the 202. I mean, they have a lot of DJ products. So Roland, Denon, Pioneer, Newmark, Hercules. Those are some of the top brands to think about when, oh, and also Native Instruments if you wanna to go towards Tractor. So I guess those are the ones I'm going to be talking about. Roland, Pioneer, Denon, Newmark, and Hercules. Those are the top five. And there's also Native Instruments as well if you want to go towards Native Instruments. I mean, there's a lot of um, Native Instruments controllers out there. Just look around on the Native Instruments website and you would definitely find something. So... With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss all... Oh, and of course, we need to talk about lighting. And as far as lighting is concerned, I mean, Chave is definitely the best brand when it comes to... And of course, there's also ADJ and... Um, yeah, ADJ, Chave, DJ... And just customize your lighting setup to however you like. I'm going to choose a Chave lighting bar and put four par lights on it, which are three in one. So we'll, I'll choose the three in one pars with a Chave light bar. And here's what these, um, with these gig bars and these party bars and these lighting bar setups that come with the lights. You can't customize it to your liking. You can't really choose the lighting you want. So a lighting stand or, a, yeah, a lighting stand will be perfect. And then you can choose whatever type of lighting you want, whether it's DMX or non-DMX. I can still keep that lighting stand even when I upgrade to DMX. And I'm going to choose like the four pars. Yeah, the three-in-one pars pack of four. And then we'll have the, the same pack of four. Yeah, we'll get another pack of four for up lighting. So it'll match my lighting setup. And we'll choose a small disco light to go on the table to light the entire facade. That will look really, really cool. 
So, I guess, to, and of course, the Chave wash effects too. So those are very popular amongst DJs who just want a, a simple wash effect. This A simple wash effect can come from the Chave wash effects twos, uh, three in one pars. Those are great for wash lighting. So I can create a wash light setup with two pars and two Chave wash effects twos, but I might not have the money for that. But we can definitely start off with the Chave uh, DJ light bar or lighting stand. I'm gonna call it a lighting bar because that's what it is, it's for lighting. Uh, so I'm gonna call it the Chave lighting bar. And with four three-in-one pars, And of course, for up lighting, we'll have the same. Yeah, we'll have the same pack of four. Yeah, a different pack of four of the same brand and the same pars that we buy. So we're going to buy a quantity of two. So that'll be four, five, six, seven, eight. So about eight different pars, four for up lighting and four for stage lights. And we'll put it to sound active mode. That way it can dance to the light, you know, so it can dance to the music and really identify how intense the music really is based on the flashing of the lights. That will look really, really cool. We'll give that wash effect. So I'm definitely going to be dealing with uh, pars for right now. Pars are pretty much a good start to lighting. And... I think that's pretty much it. Lighting, a controller, a table, a facade, and a computer. Oh, and audio cables. If you get one of those beginner controllers, the best bet is RCA. And if you get one of these um, premium controllers, these um, intermediate to uh, um, professional controllers, then XLR would be the best. And for speakers, there are brands like, yeah, there's a lot of different brands out there. I have the I am a total PA Maxes. They're 500 watts each. And they put out a thousand watts total put together by plugging in both the right channel and the left channel. So we're gonna have 500, yeah, 500 watts on the left side and 500 watts on the right side. And yeah, there's other brands out there. Just gotta look around at different brands of speakers and I'm not gonna name all of them. So, I hope this helped you with the perfect gift guide for the DJ in your life or for yourself as a DJ for Christmas 2019 to help you out as a DJ or help someone else in your life who is a DJ become a DJ or help them with their DJ career in the next following year, 2020. So for me, I have the Lifetime 4428 table. This is how I built my setup to close out this video. I chose the Lifetime 4428 four foot table, the Pioneer DDJ SR2, a MacBook Air 2018 with a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM with 121 gigabyte SSD with an expandable one terabyte on a Toshiba Kinevo connect to external hard drive and then pretty soon I'm going to upgrade to the uh, SSD, internal SSD, or external SSD. I meant external SSD. And of course, a Dragon Front Boards facade with my Ion Total P Max PA system. So when it comes to speakers, I would just do my research on PA, uh, PA speakers because there's a lot of different brands out there. It's hard to keep track with all the brands out there for DJs in, 29, in 2019 to help you out in 2020 or help someone else who was a DJ in your life 
help them out in 2020 by giving them one of these great gift ideas for Christmas 2019. And I used to use this computer right here, a mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. It had a 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, the Intel HD Graphics 4000, and it was a beast of a computer until I had to upgrade to the MacBook Air. But, you know, it still gets me through. Yeah, it still gets me through my DJ gigs with no problem whatsoever. And, of course, it's got a 750 gigabyte hard drive on there. That's why it's lagging because of the hard drive. It's putting a lot of strain on the hard drive when I'm using it, so... And of course, the computer's in the performance of it's not as good as it once was about six to seven years ago. So yeah, when it comes to speakers, the best ones will um, be based on your opinion, whether it's Ion or what was the other one? We'll have to take a look at different brandings for you know different speakers. You know, there's also Altec Lansing, there's Ion, there's, uh, let me see here. I guess we'll do our, do our research. Um, DJ Speakers. Here we go, DJ Speakers. Um, GB, yeah, there's JBL, Altec Lansing, Ion. Rockville, QSC, Altos, Yamaha, Pioneer, Mackie, Behringer, American Audio. The list goes on and on. You just got to do your research and see which ones are best for you. Yeah, there's Rockville, there's QSC, Altos, JBL, Yamaha, Pioneer, uh, Mackie, Behringer, American Audio, Ion, Altec Lansing, and so much more. I mean, there's a lot of PA systems out there. Yeah, Refine My Brand, JBL, KRK, Sony, QSC, Pioneer, uh, Alto Professional, Bose, RCF, Mackie, Yamaha, uh, PV, Behringer, I mean, the list goes on and on forever. I mean, there's a lot of choices out there to choose from when it comes to speakers. Speakers, cables. I guess the type of speakers you get are the type of cables you get, whether it's RCA or XLR. But for most PA speakers, it's XLR. And of course, um, if you just want to DJ with, uh, and of course, you definitely need an external mixer. Some of those same brands actually make mixers, external mixers. The one I use on the boat, because I was using a Newmark Party Mix, it was a Behringer Xenix um, 1002B uh, mixer. It was a Behringer Xenix 1002B. And that is a, it was a great, um, yeah, it was a great mixer. Yeah, it was a great mixer that I got to use on the boat. I guess because I was using the Newmark Party Mix that had RCA connections on the back. And I wonder what would have happened if I chose a controller before, you know, before the SR2 that had XLR. I guess because I didn't need XLR back in the day, but since I was connecting to, P, you know, PA systems so often, I had to get the SR2. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss all new videos that are coming out in the near future like tomorrow. Tomorrow is another gig log. I'm excited. And it's another Christmas party. And this one is for the student ministry. Oh yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. This is your boy DJ Cole Thing out.